Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we're not talking about Hatsune Miku, but we're talking about uh, badges. It's going to be an advanced guide on badges. But before we go through who is ideal for which badge, we're going to go through the basics of um, badges. First and foremost is enhancement. So when you enhance, uh, please make sure that... Um, you maximize um, the enhancement. So for your yellow ones, this is going to be up to plus 20. Your violet ones is going to go up to plus 14. So I would highly encourage or, you know, make sure that you guys only enhance uh, purple or yellow badges. And also for the breakthrough, for the breakthrough for, let's say, for example, for Atsuni Miko, if you don't have any copies, uh, uh, the full, fully anniversary badge is actually available to be used for uh, breaking through or copies of the same badge. So when you, but before you, for example, um, let's go to Megan. Before you decide to uh, consume a, the, the same kind of badge for um enhance for for breaking through make sure that uh, they're not equipped to another um another figure and please make sure that other figures are also using because other figures might use the same kind of badge like for the, for example this one i have two others here that are equipped so that is why i cannot use them to break through for megan's badge so again only use the extra badges that you have apart from those that you have um, equipped. So let's go over to the badges and see who you should equip them to. So let's start with um, uh, this one. It's a special for militarist or immortal infinite badge. Uh, ideally, you're going to equip this with Zarola and Lubu. Okay, so those are my recommendations on which uh, which which figure you're going to equip this badge with next is going to be your awakening pinnacle badge so ideally you equip this with yuina rin and zhao yun okay so three of them are ideal for this badge next is going to be your eternal valor badge the only recommendation that i could give you guys is going to be megan definitely megan um she needs this because she already has a shield so she definitely needs um additional block rate and restoration of health lost every second when health is below 50 percent so again definitely she's going to need this Okay, so for this one, the Eternal Melody Badge, definitely she, this is going only to be applicable to Atsune Miko. And uh, <clears throat> for your Eternal Prophecy Badge, definitely there are a lot of speciali uh, specialists um, qualified for this one, but I highly recommend only Harriet for this one. Okay, hear me out. This can, um, you know, this can be used with other, you know, other other specialists as well but uh harriet will really um shine from this one next is going to be your eternal eden badge so the ones that are that are uh recommended for this one is zephyr sakura zhao yu and mako okay so mostly this is going to be for your support badge so not all support guys is going to be you know is qualified to use this because they are not um they are not really into healing so healers actually need their health or their, yeah their health to be big so that they could also heal big as well and next is going to be um, eternal glory uh, Megan, Erixia, Crusus, and Astaroth is actually recommended for this one. So you can equip it. This is actually one of the most, um, um, what do you call this? One of the most uh, sought after badges. Um, even uh, Zarola uses this. But my recommendations would definitely be Megan, um, Megan, Erixia, Crusus, and Astaroth for this one. So for Eternal Phantom Badge, uh, recommended for this one is going to be Lubu, Rin, Yuina, 
Hatsune Miko if you don't have her special um, badge for her. And Ryoma. Okay, take note of that, guys. Those are the recommended users for this badge. Next is, I don't ha I don't own this yet, so Eternal Wing Badge. Um, this is going to be well uh, suited for Astaroth and Vasily. Okay. Next is going to be Starlight. Eternal Starlight Badge. So this is perfect for Atsune Miko and Vazir Win. So if you don't have, again the um, the what they call this the exclusive badge for Tsunimiko you could use this for her and also for Vazerwin this one <clears throat> the internal warfare badge I do not recommend you guys using this I don't think this is a very helpful badge I think this is the one of the most poorly um, created yellow type badges that they have so please do not use this do not you know uh, I'm glad I, I don't have one of these, but I don't recommend using this badge. Okay, next is Eternal Adventure Badge, which is going to be uh, for Krosos, Zhao Yun, Alfred, Yuina, and Rico. So this is more for the lifesteal function. Then you have Eternal Nightmare. You have also Zhao Yun. Alfred and Yoko that can use this one and we're moving on to the next one. So it's eternal midsummer So you have Crusoe, Rin, Yamazaki and Sanada. This is basically an enhancement of um, Accuracy bonus Okay, so next is going to be your eternal angelic. So as I've said um, uh, again, before for Harriet, uh, she's going to be using this one for Suzumi. Ideally, this is the best badge for her. Okay, so also for Harriet, by the way. So Harriet has two choices, but uh, Suzumi will really use this one. So if you only have one, equip it uh, with Suzumi and Use the other one for Harriet. Okay, so we're done with the yellow badges. We go to we're going go to go to the purple badges. I'm just gonna discuss the ones that are worth using. So we're starting with End Time Destiny. So um, this is purely for boosting of healing and shield by 16%. That is the max. And the uh, Zephyr Mako. Aoi is actually the one perfect for this one because um, she's she's giving out shields and Irens can use this one as well. Okay, so end time reverence. Okay, so end time reverence is also one of the best that you can use um, for your figures. Uh, the ones that you can use this is Vazerwin, Santa Kane. Yuna, Norris, and Ryoma. So take note of that, guys, uh, for end time reverence. So there are some purple badges that you won't, um, you know, you won't discard, guys, because they have a very good value even for end game. Next is going to be end time ultimate. I'm actually using this badge with Zarula, so I think this badge is very good for her. So, but I only recommend this for Zarola as at um, as of the moment. Okay. So next will be End Time Inferno Badge. So obviously we have some heroes that are specialized with Ignite. So the End Time Inferno Badge is going to be used with them. So the following will be using them: Zuliang, Zhao Yu, Akechi, Mitsuhide, Ri, and Irina. This badge is actually definitely very good for Zoom Liang because he enhances Ignite damage. That is why I put him on my Ignite team. And the last one would be End Time Frost. So End Time Frost, uh, you will be using this mainly with Usuke. Usuke is going to benefit from this uh, very much and also Sani. So there you go, guys. That is my advanced um, um, badge guide. So these these suggestions are basically ready for the end game. I'm most of them. I'm all, I already configured with each figure that I'm using. So I'm actually in the end game right now. Um, I've leveled up my figures up to 220, and 
all you have to do guys is just to level up these badges and uh, well it's gonna take time especially for yellow badges but again you'll get there so more or less you have to start assigning these badges to the proper figures on your team anyway guys thank you very much for staying this far and uh, please do subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here